Hey guys, this is Jessica Gutierrez with Clean With Me Podcast. This is a podcast where I walk you through cleaning your house step by step. So let's clean together. Hey everybody, so this morning's podcast is going to be a little bit more raw. I'm going to have a lot of background noise. I'm driving on my way to work because... I got up early this morning and then my daughter is still a little bit under the weather so she wanted me to lay with her this morning instead of doing my usual morning things um, which is ties in perfectly with today's topic. I want to talk about the importance of going to bed with a clean house and waking up to a clean house and how it affects your mental health and your clarity and just your overall day. And obviously this is something we want to work towards. I know not everybody can do that or has been doing that. And I completely understand that. It's something that I just started trying. I mean, I've always tried to do this, but it's something that I've actually just started implementing every day because I am not always good about it. But the difference in my life and just my day is so great whenever I plan ahead and I get the house clean and I'm waking up to a clean house in the morning. Just my stress levels are so, so much lower. Everyone in the house's stress levels are lower. My kids are less stressed. Everyone in the house is happier. We get out the door happier. It's easier to find stuff in the morning. I mean, I can go on and on. So I'm going to talk about what I did in my personal life to get to this point um, and the struggles that I had with it and just knowing myself personally because everyone's different. Some people are better in the morning. Some people are better at night. And if you are better in the mornings and you would rather get up two, three, four, however many hours before your family and clean in the morning, um, then that's your choice. I tried that for a while and I still do get up before my family typically because I like to get ready and just have at least 20, 30 minutes of peace. And I still completely believe in that. And also that gives you time to make your bed and leisurely get ready and everything without your kids, um, you know, crying or if you're in the same phase of life as me, sometimes it's hard to get ready with toddlers. So that is still important, but I don't really find myself having enough time to clean in the morning. I can do a quick straighten or make my bed, but I'm not morning a morning person enough to get up hours before. And I did try it. It just didn't work for me. So I've been doing the before I go to bed clean after I get the kids to sleep and it it's just made my life so much easier and it's lots less stressful when you're waking up to a clean house than um than having to run around and try to scrounge and get the house clean before you leave the house and also get ready and also get your kids ready and it's just a pain so with back to school and everything, a lot of us are have kids in school. I actually just started my daughter in school yesterday. We enrolled her late. I was going to homeschool her for preschool, and we started doing that, but she really wanted to go to preschool. So I enrolled her in school recently. So that's also accounting for my change in routine a little bit. Some of you homeschool, some of you don't have kids, that's okay. Um, This applies to you as well. I believe it's still a big de-stressor to wake up to a clean house. I'm sure all of you could agree with that, that your day went a lot better when you had a clean house when you woke up rather than having to worry about someone coming to your house when you get home and it's all dirty or just trying to find stuff in the morning. So this is my new nightly routine. I'm going to go through it with you. First things first, um, I got a couple decorations. I told you guys that my motivator is money. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. My motivator is buying like little knickknacks and stuff around the house. Um, And it helps me keep the house clean because I'm proud of my little decorations and whatever. Uh, My little fall decor and stuff. I just 
to me if I get a couple little one dollar items from Dollar Tree or uh, we went to Five Below the other day and I got some little pumpkins that matched my house perfectly. That motivated me to clean my entire house um, and I've been keeping it up because I want my house to look cute and my little knickknacks to look nice and everything like that. And it's funny, I was setting up the, I got, I went to Five Below to get a couple of school supplies for my daughter and um, I found these pumpkins. My house is in like a turquoise velvet type of pillow and stuff like that, accents, uh, turquoise accents and then there's orange and um, it sounds weird but I like it. It's old but the whole house is in turquoise and orange. I went through a phase. So I found these pumpkins that were velvet and turquoise and orange at Five Below and I got like four packs of them. I went a little overboard but they were really cheap and I got a clean house out of it. So you know just know yourself and know what motivates you and if you are a morning person and you'd rather get up and clean the house in the morning then everybody's different and I totally respect that I tried that it didn't work for me I wasn't able to maintain it and I have talked about that in the past on the podcast because it is something that I really did try to do but it just didn't work for me the night before thing way more doable to me because I'm more of a night owl myself so Getting into me coming home last night um, and getting stuff ready for the, the next day. First thing, I had my little new pumpkins in hand. I had my little decor and my house was trash. So first things first, before we get the decorations out, I was like, I have to clean this house up before I put them out. So I lit a candle and I got the kids on an activity, tried to get, keep them busy. Um, I set them up with some, sometimes it's okay for them to make a little mess in the corner if they give you time to clean. So I set them up with some uh, like kinetic sand in the corner and I got right to it. So I started picking up the living room. I got my little mini vacuum and I vacuumed up any crumbs on the couch and the couch cushions um, on my ottoman picked up all the toys and just did a pickup and outer area rescue if you will so let's do that right now let's go ahead and pick up our entire outer area um if there's anything that needs to be wiped down I have a leather couch so I like to wipe it down I have little kids you might not have to do that but uh, I also like to wipe down the tv stand the tv any kind of tabletops and to wipe down tabletops we have to clear tabletops off so make sure we're clearing off all the tabletops and everything like that and then using our Clorox wipes or our rags and soapy rags uh, and hot water let's go ahead and just do a wipe down if there's any mirrors in your living room you can use some Windex and paper towels and clean that now and once we're done with our living area we're going to give it just a quick sweep uh, if you have hardwood floors, I have tile. Um, so I did a quick sweep and I did, I saved the mopping till the end of my outer area rescue because I wanted to, I have a small house, so I knew I was going to be walking in and out of the living area still when I was doing my kitchen area. So I did that. I just did a sweep and then I came back to the mopping. I took out the trash, replaced the bag of my trash can and then I went on to the kitchen and there was a few dishes in the sink so I did an empty reload and run so we're going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and go to the dishes and if there's any dishes in the dishwasher or the drying rack, if you don't have a dishwasher, let's go ahead and clear those out quickly and this is just getting ready to go to bed, getting ready for the night, um, for the morning after uh, getting ready for school the next day or whatever it is that you have to do. So after I did my empty of my drying rack or dishwasher, I did a very thorough pre-rinse and I try to pre-rinse as I go so that when I actually do the dishes, it's really easy. Um, if you can do that at all, that also really, really helps you to keep up with things. And it may seem like a no brainer, but I mean, if, if you don't do it, 
you're going to be sitting there scrubbing dishes until the cows come home. So try as much as you can to pre-rinse the dishes. Uh, take all their uh, scraps and throw them in the trash and then put their plates up at the sink. If they're old enough, they can rinse them off. And I'm telling you, it really makes a big difference uh, if everyone in the house is doing that and you just tell everyone in the house to start doing that because then when you go to go blow the dishwasher like we're doing now, they're already pre-rinsed, they're already ready to go, so you can either just get your... Um, get your dishes cleaned really quickly and throw them in the drying rack or just throw them in the dishwasher and start the dishwasher for the night and it takes no time at all so while you're working on doing the dishes I'm just going to talk about my day and if you hurry my day yesterday and if you did didn't have that many dishes or you did it quickly because you've been pre-rinsing then um you can start on kids lunches and packing that if you have kids in school you can pack their lunches last night I have a new a new student in my house my daughter just started like I said so I did a quick lunch for her after I did the dishes um if you want to wait to do that to the end you can I'm just kind of have a very scatterbrain so Realistically, I'm like jumping all around doing all different things. When I'm working in the kitchen, I usually always start with the dishes because I hate it. And I know that I'm less likely to finish them if I do them last. So I do the dishes first. And then I got my kids' lunch ready. I, you know, cut up everything that I needed to cut up. So if I dirtied any dishes, I could just throw them in the dishwasher. And then... Um, wrote a note on the door for my husband not to forget her lunch since it's new and we just started doing it I taped a little note to the door and then I went back to the kitchen and started clearing countertops I noticed a lot of clutter had accumulated in my kitchen so I just quickly tried to get rid of all of the clutter and just miscellaneous junk that had accumulated on my countertops um, I have a very large counter I have a small house but very large counter countertop space and a very large island that is awesome and also not awesome at the same time because the way the island is faced when you walk into the house you can't really see what's behind the island so it tends to accumulate just miscellaneous junk and that's kind of that's our hot spot in our kitchen and we tend to put all of our stuff when we get off work our purse my purse my keys everything ends up just mail everything gets cluttered on that island so I had to declutter that quickly and put everything away where it goes throw away all the old mail and bills and everything that need to be thrown away and just cleared off all of the countertops and then did a very thorough wipe down and even if you're doing just a quick cleaning before bed that doesn't mean that you can't check your refrigerator your cabinets for any splatters or spots or anything we and long, if you're in the same phase of life as me and you have small children or maybe you just haven't got to it in a while um there's going to be spots all over your cabinets and stuff daily even if you do this all the time so I just like to give it a once over and while I'm already wiping down the countertops I'm already doing something to that effect I want to go ahead and get everything out of the way and just get any spots on the dishwasher on the, I have a stainless steel fridge so I want to make sure I get that stainless steel fridge looking good if I'm putting my daughter's lunch in the refrigerator and I'm noticing anything old in the refrigerator that needs to be taken out I do that and I throw that away and I even give it a wipe down because you could do all this very quickly and there is a time to deep clean these things and to get really and get into your refrigerator and empty it all out and do a very thorough wipe down but it's also good to maintain and just do quick little wipe downs here and there you don't have to be doing a complete thorough um, spring cleaning of your refrigerator to give it a quick wipe down every every couple days. And same thing as the living room. Once I realized that, uh, once I, you know, finished everything and I noticed that there was crumbs on the floor, I did do a quick little sweep of the 
of the kitchen area, but just like the living area, I saved the mopping till the end of my session because I knew I was going to be tromping in and, in and out of the living areas, and I didn't want to track anything or to undo what I did, so I saved that to last. Did my wipe down, did my little spot sweep. The spot sweep is just so you're not tracking things into other rooms. And then I moved on to the bedroom. So I'm trying to get everything ready, you know, from the night before. So when I go into the bedroom, first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get my kids uh, clothes ready for the morning because I knew I was going to leave before everyone else. And uh, my daughter goes into school late. They only had half days left. So she goes into school kind of late. So I wasn't going to be taking her to school. Her dad was. So I wanted to make sure to have her uniform ready and everything. So I went and got that ready. Um along with her backpack and I did that first got that ready laid it out in the living area or wherever you like to lay things out just to where I knew he was going to see it and then I had a bunch of clean clothes all over my dresser and it looked terrible and it had been stressing me out for like two days and they had just been sitting there and I felt terrible for not putting it away so I'm like I'm just going to knock this out really quickly you know once you're on a roll once you're in a cleaning mode just don't lose that momentum and you just want to keep getting everything that you see done and this is specific to you you might not have a bunch of laundry on your dresser obviously this is something that happened to me last night but you might have another hot spot or area in your bedroom or even a drawer or a dresser that you're putting miscellaneous stuff in that has gotten out of hand so that would be the time to take care of that right now. So any hot spots in your bedroom, a chair maybe that has uh, laundry draped over it that you need to take care of, any eyesores in the bedroom, just take care of that really quickly and just do a pickup of your bedroom. That way we're waking up to a nice clean house. If you need to get any crumbs with your mini vacuum or if you need to do a spot sweep, take out any garbage cans I have a little mini garbage can in my bedroom so I like to take that out if it's full and replace the bag when I'm cleaning my bedroom if I need to run a load of laundry before bed I'll do that if I'm going to be up for a while but I do share a laundry area with my upstairs neighbor so unless I'm going to be up for a couple hours I don't do a load of laundry before bed personally because I want to be able to do the laundry switch before I go to bed. Also, you want to do that even if you don't share a washer and dryer, just so your clothes don't get moldy and stinky sitting in the washer. So if you're going to be up, do a laundry switch uh, or a load of laundry. If not, you can um, save that for the next day when you get home either way. But we're going to put all of the dirty laundry accumulated in one spot in the laundry baskets and you could take those to the laundry room if they need to be taken. If they're not full, then you could just leave them there. And then I just did a little pickup of all my little knickknacks. Made the bed if it wasn't already made. And got that ready for bed. Got my kids in their pajamas. And then once I did all of that, and the house looked pretty good, I did a mop of my entire house my house is very small so this might be a larger feat for you you could do your mopping um, at the end of the episode because it might take you a little bit or vacuum if you have carpet and then I finally got to get all of my new knickknacks and set them up in the house and put my little pumpkins up and my little one had been asking about her birthday a lot my two-year-old and she knows that her birthday is near Halloween and at the end of fall. So she saw me putting up the pumpkins and she asked to help. So I let her help me put the pumpkins up and she, the velour pumpkins. And then she was like, thank you so much, mommy. Thank you for my birthday. Because she thought I was decorating for her birthday because she knows her birthday's in fall. So smart, smart baby saw that there was pumpkins and she's like, my, my birthday must be near she's so funny so she thought it was all for her so she was like thank you so much mommy it was hilarious so after I do my nightly routine I will go and do my self-care I'll put the kids to bed and then I'll take a shower and do my nightly routine that way I don't have to do a lot when I wake up I don't have to 
um, run around trying to find my uniform or whatever it is I have to do. And yeah, uh, tweak this according to you. If you want to do it in the day, in the morning time, that's up to you. If you have different hotspots, this is obviously just step by step what I did last night. And it might not cater to you exactly, but tweak it in whatever way works for you. Don't forget to mop your floors before you go to bed or in the morning before you go about your day and I want to thank you guys so much for listening again I'm sorry about the audio quality I was driving while recording this um, but thank you guys for listening I'm glad that you guys have been tuning in I'm sure you guys are over the moon that my mom has been doing episodes we're going to keep this up I'm going to do one one week she's going to do one the next week and I hope you guys will keep listening thank you so much check out our website cleanwithmepodcast.com and also my patreon will be in the description and as always happy cleaning